Hello, hello my most amazing artists. Today we are going to be creating warm and cool colored hearts for our square one art project. On the screen you can see an example of this project. You can see that they're split up by warm and cool colors and each student made their choice on what colors they were going to use in their heart and out of their heart. For example, this one right here, the student chose to use cool colors inside the heart and only warm colors on the outside. On this example, we can see the student chose to use warm colors inside the heart and cool colors on the outside. So we're going to do this together. Get your supplies and get ready. All right, boys and girls, to get started, you should have your square one art paper. And the first thing that you want to do is make sure that your name is at the top. You can read your name clearly. It's got your grade, your teacher, and your school name. If this is not accurate, please let a teacher know. For your project, we should have a square, a border, drawn for you on the paper. Sometimes when they put these papers in the scanner, it might cut off a little bit of this border. So we want to keep our most important artwork inside of the frame. Next, we're going to make our hearts. You can make them lean to the left, lean to the right. You can make them in the center. That's up to you, but we don't want them going off of the border. Hold your stencil down when you trace. Aha! Let's zoom in so we can see a little bit better. There we go. Now I have this pretty heart. I love it. The next thing I'm going to do is break up my sections with a couple of lines. They can be zigzag lines or wavy lines or straight lines, but I don't want to draw too many. Three or four should be plenty. Hmm, maybe a straight line here. Straight line here. I think I'm going to make a wavy. Notice when I make my wavy lines, I'm not, not making tiny waves. That would be very difficult to color in later. And I think maybe just one. There. Remember, drawing too many, no more than four, because if you draw too many, it's going to be hard to color in later. Take your time doing this. Imagine your lines before you draw them. And if you make a mistake, that's okay. Just erase. To add color, we are going to use these amazing quick sticks. And you're going to choose one color family at a time. I'm going to start with my warm colors. I'm, I'm going to put my warm colors inside my heart, so I'm not going outside my heart line. If this is a little confusing for you, it might be helpful for you to, to get out a Sharpie or a China marker and trace that heart line so you know where you're keeping your colors inside of. Remember, we only get one paper, so going slow is really important. 
to take care of our temper quick sticks. I would put my cap to the side, make sure not to lose it. We're not going to, we're not going to twist them up too much, but when they start to run out like a glue stick, you can twist them up a little bit. Never twist them up a lot and try to put the cap on. That's how they will get ruined. When you're coloring, try to stay inside the lines as best you can. Go slowly next to the lines. I go a little bit faster than you guys because I've had a lot of practice. Did I stay inside of the lines nicely? I think so. I think I'm going to add the yellow just in one more section here. Twist down before you put the cap on. I'll be right back with my finished, my finished warm colored hearts. As you can see, I finished coloring inside my heart first, so I don't mix up my colors. And next I'm going to get started on the background. Something I noticed while I was working is that it's a little bit difficult to get into these small, tiny areas. If you have a small, tiny section, you might want to combine it with the section next to it, or you might have to switch over to oil pastels. Okay. All right, the next thing I'm going to get my opposite color families, so my cool colors. I get green and blues and purples. And I'm going to work on the background. Make sure when you're using these, you do not press too hard. A little bit goes a long way. I'll be right back. All right, friendly faces. So now I finish coloring in not just my background, but I choose one, I chose one color for my border frame here. Now that I'm finished coloring, I am going to go ahead and get either my Sharpie or my China marker out. If you're using China marker, please, please do not pull the string. I know that there are these little strings on the side. Do not pull them. If your china marker needs sharpening, you need to talk to an adult in the room and they will pull it for you. The next thing we're going to do is very slowly and carefully trace over all of our pencil lines, including the border. It's going to really make all those lines pop out nicely. At the end, you are going to find a tiny spot, probably in the corner, to sign your first name. All right, boys and girls. I hope you had fun making these warm and cool color hearts. I hope you're taking your time and happy creating.